Here we have a ring stand. We have a ceramic triangle with a ring on it, a Turrell burner, piece of magnesium, a lighter, a crucible with a lid, and some tongs, and an electronic scale or a balance. We're going to zero out the balance and put on the crucible along with the lid. It doesn't have to be on top. Wait for that to stop fluctuating and write down the mass that is on there. Now we're going to put the long strand of magnesium ribbon into the crucible. We are going to want to burn this magnesium so you don't want to fold it top to bottom and make it a big chunk of metal. You want it to be kind of uh, kind of airy, but yet a ball that will fit in there with the top. So you have to go around with it like that. If you pinch the edges, it actually will break, which is fine. You're throwing it all in there, and you're going to burn. Now, put it on the scale along with the crucible and the lid, and write down the mass. We're going to put the Bunsen burner into the gas nozzle, nice and tight. We want to adjust the ring so that it's the right height. You don't want to do it later because it's going to be hot. So picture the flame and how tall it's going to be, and you don't want it too close, you don't want it too far. Now we're going, to, we're going to use the tongs to put the crucible with the magnesium uh, in the ceramic triangle. If it seems like it's teetering and wants to fall off and break, you need to open up the triangle. Now we're going to light the Bunsen burner. We choke it first, light the lighter, and then turn the gas. So it's in that order. Choke it first by screwing in the top barrel, light the lighter first, and then turn the gas on. It'll make a pale blue flame or maybe even a yellow flame. Then we want to open up the barrel so it feeds in the oxygen from the air, and you get a lapping noise like, like that, and you get a pale blue inner cone. You can see the cone inside and then the blue outside. So you have an outer one and an inner cone. We're going to heat this up. It's going to take a little while. The crucible has to heat up, the metal has to heat up. Um, so there's no, you can leave it open if you want, but there's no need really. And you wait for a while until it starts to ignite. And when it ignites, it's going to burn very bright and very quickly. So we want to smother it, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but we want it to burn slowly. If it burns too quickly, uh, the heat is so great that the ashes from the products will go up into the air. So we're going to smother it and then open it, feed a little oxygen into it, and then smother it again and open it back up, and then smother it and then open it back up. So every few seconds, after it, the initial strong, bright burn, you can kind of just watch it and leave it off. Um, but still, you have to be kind of still paying attention and vigilant. This is super hot. If it falls or breaks, like, get out of the way. This thing is like 800 Celsius and... What happens is you think it's done burning, and then you take the heat away, and it lights back up again. You can see it actually catching fire again. Smother it up, put some more heat to it, burn the oxygen inside, open it back up again. And you want to keep doing this until it stops burning. People always ask me, when does it stop burning? Does it stop burning? It's not going to stop burning. But it will at some point. It's going to burn all the magnesium up. Uh, you do get to a point where you can, it doesn't look like it's burning more. Just take the flame away for a second. You can move the base. It's not very hot. And if you watch, you start seeing these little sparks again. If you're adding heat, it's going to be red. It's not burning. But if you see the little sparks, like right there, you can see it like actually lighting back up again. That means all the magnesium hasn't reacted with oxygen to form the magnesium oxide. We are hoping that every atom of magnesium finds the oxygen molecule and reacts with it to form magnesium oxide. So it's not burning very quickly now, so we're leaving the top off. We're heating it, then let it cool, let the air get back into it, burn again. You might see another spark right there. You just got to keep doing this. Now, at some point, all of the magnesium will burn, and it'll stop sparking and stop doing this. See a little spark right there? At some point, it'll stay red, and it won't be sparking anymore, and it's done. 
once it's done, you have to have some patience and let it cool. Uh, a pet peeve of mine is when people put hot items on a scale. It needs to be room temperature. And these things are very small, so even if they're very hot in temperature, they don't necessarily emit a lot of heat. So once we have it done, you're going to close the gas nozzle to one side, let it sit there, and you just have to be patient. You can put the back of your hand up against it, see if you can feel it. Right now, it feels warm. Uh, in a minute, it still feels kind of warm, but then I touch it, and it's like, it's still hot. It is still very hot. Uh, touching is kind of bad form, but really, people think it's not uh, not hot anymore, but if you actually grab it, it'll burn you. So it needs to be nice and like close to room temperature. We're going to weigh it again. Again, zero the scale out. Use the same scale. Make sure you measure it with the crucible lid as well, and write down the number.